Taiwanese businesses are being urged by the foreign ministry and TITRA to trade more in Africa. Business experts say there's a massive trade potential there, with average economic growth across the continent at 5%. At a promotional event, the opportunities were illustrated by fine dining with a fusion of culinary elements. A freshly brewed Ethiopian blend coffee is poured. Nearby, South African Bourivor sausage with Pingdong onion and Somaliland lamb with Taiwanese tomatoes, a delicious pairing. The food was brought on stage at this foreign ministry and Taitra organized event to promote trade links between Taiwan and Africa. Today we held an introduction to the African market event in the hope of getting Taiwanese business to give greater consideration to African countries and African trade opportunities. These skincare products are made with Somaliland's native spices as well as anti-inflammatory pain-relieving herbs. At the event, a Taiwanese organic agriculture company signed a letter of intent with Somaliland counterparts putting out feelers into the global market. I want to stress that any commercial activity will have its risk effectively reduced if the company works together with government. By working with the government, you can access a lot of official channels and receive a lot of highly accurate information. Our Southern Africa e-commerce center is in Eswatini. We have deep diplomatic ties with Eswatini, so a lot of e-commerce infrastructure is assisted by our business leaders there. We hope that on the basis of that infrastructure, e-commerce opportunities can be included when a trade link is first being established. There are 55 countries on continental Africa with a total population of 1.2 billion people. That's a gigantic market. And with annual economic growth about 5% on average, Taitra says Taiwanese businesses have a lot to gain.